Today we're practicing our skip counting. We do this almost every day. And skip counting is not a terribly exciting thing to learn. And so we try to find as many different types of activities we can to practice. And today we're using the computers to practice. Janelle, what uh, tool are we using? Uh, the spreadsheet. So uh, we have a spreadsheet set up with uh, some of the numbers filled in and they're responsible for completing them. Uh, Janelle, why don't you show us uh, what, what numbers are you working on right now? Five. Okay, why don't you go ahead and fill some in for us? 20, 25. So Janelle is learning about spreadsheets. We learned about rows and columns and cells and uh, there's some formulas in here so that it automatically changes colors to indicate that we got the right uh, answer for their spreadsheet. So today we're just working on fives and sixes. We'll finish them up in the next few weeks. John, can you show me yours? That's it. And I was working on the same thing. Go ahead and fill some in for me. That's it. So I guess you have to empty out these. Nope, why don't you do, uh, do five? So you have five and ten, I see. What's next? Five, ten. Number 15s, start with a 1. So this um, not only allows us to practice skip counting, but it also teaches some basic computer literacy skills like spreadsheet, um, uh, keyboard familiarity, learning about the numbers, um, backspace, using the arrows to move between the different cells. So it kind of serves two purposes at one time.